So in this video, we're going to walk through making your first kind of Hello World Android app using the Android Studio software that you installed in the first step of this lesson. So this video assumes that you have set up your computer, you've got the Android Studio, the SDK, the packages, and everything we walked through in the first part of the lesson. And we're starting right here at the Welcome to Android Studio screen. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, because we don't currently have a project open, we're going to click to start a new studio project. All right, we get this screen, and we've got to give it a name, and I'm going to name it My First Android App. All right, it has, you have to put in a company domain. Uh, you don't have a domain name, most likely, so by default, um, the one that it fills in there will have something to do with your computer name or your logged on Windows username, and all of that is fine. Check out where it, it puts your projects, uh, usually in your uh, user home inside Android Studio Projects is the name of the folder. You're welcome to change that if you don't like that default location, but I'm going to keep it, so I'm going to click Next. And it's going to ask us what kind of application type we want to create. And so we're going to create a phone and tablet as you can see, there's also um, TV and Android Wear apps, which we can talk about a little bit later. But it's also going to help you pick which version of the Android operating system to target your app to. So in this case, Android uh, 4.03, which was the ice cream sandwich build, tells us there that um, you know by targeting more devices, we have fewer features available, but our app will run on like it says here, 90.4% of the devices that are active on the Google Play Store, which is a very large market share. So you can come in here and you can mess around with the minimum SDK and kind of get an idea for um, some of the builds and things that are available. Like if we come up to the latest one, which is 5.1 Lollipop, we can see that less than 1% of the devices active on the store are targeting this particular, excuse me, particular framework. So this is a good choice, and we'll click Next. And it's going to prompt us to add an activity. Now, activities are kind of like templates. They, they kind of define what it is that our app is doing, and they come with some pre-built functionality um, to help you along that route. But in this case, we're just going to start with a blank activity, the default one here, and click Next. So on this screen, it's just asking us for some basic information about uh, what we want to name some of the classes and things in our application. For the most part, these are fine. I'm going to retitle this um, Hello World. You, uh, As you get further into your app development, you'll have a, an opinion on how you want these named. But really, it's just for organizational purposes at this point. So once we're all done, this is our last step. We will click Finish, and that's going to go ahead and set up the project with Android Studio so we can get started setting up some logic. So this does take a little bit of time, and you can see there as it goes through. And if you do have some firewall things that come up, you can go ahead and allow access for those. You will need elevated permissions on your machine to do that. But once it's all done uh, with this step, we'll be able to move forward. So once the build is all done and it's got the project all set up, you should have a window that looks something like this. Now it's going to open up a bunch of breadcrumb items, a couple of tabs. Um, you can pop this project window in and out. The project window over here is where we can see all of the items and the uh, files and things that are located inside of our Android project. Um, this XML viewer, and let me go ahead and dock this in so you can see that a little better. Um, we've got a couple of, of files that it goes ahead, goes ahead and opens here. We've got the activity main XML, and this is the XML layout file for the particular activity that you chose during setup. And in this case, it's blank, so there's nothing in it. Um, the uh, also the main activity .java. This is the file for Android Studio that. Um, appears when we first complete the new project workflow. And this gives us uh, class definitions for the activity that we created. So when we build and run the app, the activity class starts up the activity 
and loads the layout file that we're going to create that says hello world. Expanding all of these things over in the project, we also have the Android manifest file we can take a look at. The Android manifest describes some of the characteristics or properties of the app and defines each one of the components that you are using. So as you move through the lessons and we add more components to our apps, we'll be messing around in the Android manifest file. Down here under Gradle scripts, uh, you'll find a couple of different items. So Gradle is what Android Studio uses to compile and build Android applications. And so there's going to be a build.gradle file for each module of your project, as well as a build. Gradle file for the entire project. So anytime our apps um, are built and when we're going to test, this, these are the files ultimately that run. So there's a lot of other folders and things in here. We've got some stuff in the values section. We'll talk about that later. Um, the MIP map, uh, menu items for when we start messing with the menu, as well as um, a, an area to put drawable items, right? And these directories are things like uh, bitmaps that are designed for various density um, or high density screens. Um, you know, the layout section is going to allow us to define the app's user interface right there in that activity.xml file that we looked at earlier. So there's a lot of files that go into an Android application and we'll kind of learn more in depth about each one as we get to um, kind of how they work and what we're doing with them.